Hello, welcome back. Here are the highlights of the tribunal ruling on the issue of electronic transmission of results filed by Peter Obi and Gase Polatinibu. The tribunal has ruled that on the mode of transmission of election results, INEC is at liberty to define the mode it intends to use. They contend that by the provision of Section 52 and Section 65 of the Electoral Act, INEC is at liberty to prescribe the manner in which results can be transmitted. The INEC cannot be compelled to electronically transmit results. The tribunal referred to the judgment of a federal high court delivered on January 23, 2023. Justice Samani, who read the judgment, said the judgment subsists since the Labour Party has failed to appeal against it. So basically, they are saying that the INEC has the prerogative of the mode of transmission of results. But the question is, no one is arguing that. No one says INEC does not have the final say on how it transmits results. The question is, they provided, they said they were going to do electronic transmission of results. They created a system and impressed upon the participants, Peter Obi, Atiku, and Paul Atinubu, that this was going to be the process, but they failed to follow that process. That was the challenge. No one says they have no right to do whatever they want to do when it comes to transmission of results. But they have the responsibility to tell the participants that this is what they were going to do. And they did on several occasions, they were going to do electronic transmission of results. But they failed to do that. That is the contention. But unfortunately, this court refused to see that. On a related issue, remember that INEC had contended that they could not upload results electronically because of the technical glitches. In response, Labour Party and Peter Obi had called an Amazon engineer as witness who testified that there was no glitch at all. However, on judgment, the court rejected the admissibility of evidence tendered by the Labour Party's web engineer regarding a technical glitch observed on the INEC result viewing portal because OGA, as this claim, was an interested party in the petition having vied for elective office on Labour Party's platform. This clearly does not make sense. Witnesses always have interest in cases that they are called, whether they are stated or unstated. As long as their interest does not invalidate their testimony, how can you discountenance it? This is why Bolatinubu and Einek got a chance to cross-examine him. If they could not prove that his testimony was a lie, how could the tribunal turn around and reject the testimony on the basis that he is an interested party? Please, help me make sense of this because it does not make sense to me. Thanks for watching.